Hello, hello. Salon. My name is Kathy Kiani and I'm the writer and director of Bothering Plastic Flowers. This is a short animation about child marriage. The story is about Nargis, a nine-year-old girl from a religious Iranian family that, in a conversation with her brother, who is proud of his masculine power, she realizes her jurisprudential duties as she reaches the age of religious poverty. Among these duties are the preparation for marriage and obligatory hijab. Nargis, who is a vibrant child with a head full of big dreams for her future, find these rules against her dreams and becomes incredibly irritated and furious about it all. Since she is only nine years old, she reached out to her mother for her support. But her mother, who was once the victim of the same rules, is powerless and weak to help. As an Iranian woman who grew up in a patriarchal society, I had to fight every day to achieve my dreams. Therefore, all my stories deal with women, cultural differences, immigration, and issues of identity. My latest animation, Second Home, is a story about an immigrant woman and her challenges to fit into her new culture, which won the best animation award in Berlin, Chicago, and here in Vancouver. By this animation, my goal is to contribute in raising Nargis's voice and all the girls and women who are oppressed and discriminated against due to the traditional values in a patriarchal society. These women need to be heard by more people around the world. There are young girls in Iran whose voice and choice are being stripped from them. Being married at as young as 11 years old. Hi, I'm Sam Adamora and I'm the sound designer in this project. When Kathy came up to me and invited me to be part of this vision, you know, I, I felt like I, I, I needed to put my force together with them and help actualize this. I myself, I'm from Africa and been fortunate to live in a few places in the world. I've seen the privilege of having a choice and having a voice and I've activated these privileges to shape my life to what it is today. And, you know, us living here in Canada, we probably don't realize really how much choice and freedom we do have. So we want to create this project in a way that the viewers can be able to jump into the mind and in, into, uh, I may say, the flow of the procession or um, understand what's going on across the world. So that's why we are creating this. So we appreciate your support and we appreciate you watching this project and the creation of it. Hi, my name is Anita Zangene. I am one of the voice actresses of this project. The reason that I got interested at first place is that I'm a woman, I lived in Iran, and I have lived in experiences as a woman in Iran. I really like to bring awareness around the role that women played in fueling this vicious cycle of child marriage back in Iran. When I read the script, I found the woman as a victim, the man as a victim, and the child and the brother. They were all victims of this vicious cycle. I would like to change that. I would like to bring awareness around that. Thank you. We as artists believe that even if the subject matter is not our problem, nor our society's problem, we still need to support each other as human beings so that the world would be a better place for all of us to live. Yes, we need to support. And if you aren't in a place currently to, or have the capacity currently to support in a financial way, there's other ways that are definitely vital in supporting this project, such as liking, sharing as you see us create and, and we do appreciate that very much. We open-heartedly receive any kind of support that you can spare us. Thank you. Thank you very much.